So there's a series of videos called Garden Party Stories, and they're being used to promote a new movie, which is coming out in summer, called Garden Party. And these videos consist of uh, like young people living in Hollywood doing risque and sexual things to either get money or get ahead in their career. And these videos make me think of all the creepy requests I get here on YouTube and to my email address, everything. Asking me to do things that I would never do. That ranges from pictures of myself naked and videos of my bare feet. That's that's come up quite a few times. So a few weeks ago, I got a few messages that um, they were a little more interesting than the usual ones that I ignore. This isn't exactly the message. I'm going to change it a little bit so it makes grammatical sense because it doesn't, which makes me more concerned about the person who sent this. Uh, anyway, Molly, this is real. I've got an easy idea for us to make money, but mostly you, lol. I'd set up a website and you could sell your used panties to guys, because they buy them. And you can charge 50 bucks a pop, and then you could take pics of different fetishes guys like, but only ones you are comfortable with, and you don't have to show your face if you don't want to. I'd put up a disclaimer about that or something. I mean, it's a real easy way for some extra money, and guys go for it. But if you don't feel like taking the pics, then the panties are just as good. You'd make more money on them anyway. I'd set everything up. When I get messages like this, I sort of shrug them off. Um, I mean, I'll copy and paste them to my friends online <laughs> and just laugh at it. I thought that would be the end of it because I ignored the guy and didn't say anything to him and whatever. But then a few days later, I get another message. Because this guy's, he obviously thinks this is a great idea and um... Cutie, feel like making 30 to $50 from your panties? Brackets, each pair. I could explain if you're interested. It'd make much more sense. And no, this isn't spam. Lol, this is a real message. That's reassuring. Frankly, I'm not sure what to be most insulted by about this. The fact that he would firstly consider approaching me. The fact that when I told Bryony I'd had the message, she said she'd had the exact same one. Or the fact that he thinks I could only make 30 to $50 on each pair of my used underwear.